and welcome. For this video we're going to look at changing the brake discs and pads on a diesel Punto. This applies to all models with vented front discs. There are some differences with the 1.2 petrol cars. We start by loosening the wheel bolts and jacking the car, securing with axle stones. We then remove the wheel trim and wheel, allowing us access to the brakes. I give the bolt, securing the brake caliper, a quick spray with penetrating oil. This allows me to easily undo the bolts holding the caliper to the car. Once the bolts are removed, I wiggle the caliper free of the brake disc, and then using a piece of plastic strapping, I secure the caliper up away from the brake disc so as not to damage the brake pipes. This allows me just to work on the disc. Once I remove these two wheel locating studs, I can easily and simply remove the brake disc. Sometimes the disc can rust in place, which makes removal much more difficult, but a tap with a hammer usually does the trick. This is the new disc and the old disc side by side. I give the new disc a clean up with brake cleaner to remove any residues or oils that may be left from the manufacturing process, ready to go back on the car. The new disc simply fits back on and is held in place with the two wheel locating studs that we removed earlier. We can now focus our attention on the brake pads. This simple spring clip holds the caliper together and the pads in place. So to begin with we have to remove it. It can be a bit stubborn, but a pair of pliers is usually the best way to go about it. That way, when you do get it free, it doesn't ping off so that you can't find it. Once removed, the pads can simply be knocked out and removed. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of wear on this pad. The rear pad can also be slid forward and removed. This shows the new pad and old pad side by side, as you can see there's been quite a bit of wear. Using an old G-clamp we wind the piston back into the caliper, ready to accept the new pads. That way the new pads can simply slot back into the caliper, the rear one pushing and clipping back into place. and the outer pad simply slots in and is pulled forwards. We then reinsert the spring clip which holds the caliper and pads back together, ready to be reassembled on the car. And a quick spray with brake cleaner to remove any residue. We now reassemble the brakes, wiggling the caliper over the new brake disc and reapplying the bolts that secure it to the car. Tighten these up well. And finally, everything gets a good clean with brake cleaner to make sure there's no oils, residues or greases left on any of the braking surfaces. We do the same with both front brakes and we allow about 100 miles of driving in order for the brake pads and discs to bed in. Thanks for watching. Why not check out our Facebook page at www.facebook.com punto how to or our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash punto how to.